Hi everyone, welcome to Sitchin Cuisines. I hope you are enjoying your summer. Our meal today is very special. It's minsaf. Many requested that I make this meal. It's about time that I make it today. Minsaf is a very well known in Palestine and Jordan. In Palestine, we want to honor somebody, we cook minsaf for them. And they also cook it in occasions like weddings. What is special about that, that in Palestine, women make the yogurt by their hand. It's a round circle bowl. But now it's easier to find it in the stores and ready in packages. So I hope you all enjoyed this meal today. And this meal is especially for Noura Mahsen. I soak the meat in vinegar and salt for 30 minutes as usual. Then I place the meat in water and until it's boiled, then I drain the water and washed it again. Now I'm going to start cooking it. In this step, I'm going to cook the meat until it's medium rare and I will tell you the reason later on. I will add onion for the smell and to keep the color of the meat, I'm going to add lemon juice and sugar. Make sure that the water covers your meat and cover it. Minsaf is a tradition made with lamb meat only, but my mother taught us to add equal flour to add to the delicious, you know, taste. And later on, you will see me adding also chicken breast to accommodate my daughters who don't like lamb meat. I put water in the pot for the quala flour, and now I'll add the vinegar. I will put the pot in the stove until it boils. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the yogurt. My mother from the beginning until the end, she mixes the yogurt by her hand. Myself, I'm going to use the blender. I will add first my yogurt. And then I will add the cornstarch. And I will add the soup starter. I will mix everything together in the blender. Still, because it's hard, I have to make sure that everything in the box will come down like that. Okay? Now I will add the water of the lamp to my yogurt. You need a good amount of water to mix it easy. That's good. Now I'm going to mix it. I forgot to shake the box of the soup starter, so I'm going to add the water of the lamb meat here and mix it together and add it to my yogurt, as you see, like that. I'm going to add it here. and mix it again. You have to mix it very well. Our yogurt 
it's not completely ready. I will mix it very well with my hand to make sure it's not clumpy. The water is ready now. I will add the cauliflower to my water. Make sure not to burn yourself. And also make sure the water covers the cauliflower. I'm going to cover my pot and leave the cauliflower for five minutes in the hot water. I'm going to do two things in one step. I'm going to fry the cauliflower and at the same time I'm going to sear the chicken. Here. I think this is enough. Now I'm going to I want to add the color to the chicken. I'm not going to fry it. I just see. Just one more. Make sure to turn it to the other side when the first side is The cauliflower takes more longer time to be fried, but the chicken it's quicker and it's time now to turn it to the other side. Look, it's only I'm looking for this pink color. Look how it looks so beautiful that color. Remember to turn your cauliflower and make sure that it fries from all sides. The lamb meat has been cooking for the whole time. Now the chicken is ready. I'm going to move it from this part to this part with the lamb meat to cook together. The cauliflower is ready. I'm going to put the next batch now. Our cauliflower is finished. I put the pot of yogurt on a stove on high heat. I'm going to keep whisking it until it boils. Don't stop, don't stop, you know, whisking it. Remember, don't stop whisking the yogurt until it boils. If you stop whisking it, you know, it will clump. It's Middle Eastern method to fry the garlic and add the oil over the yogurt. Oh, it smells so good right now. It is. It's almost done. Almost done. After I left the lamb meat and chicken to cook in the yogurt, now our last step to add the aqua flour and leave it with the yogurt and lamb meat and chicken for five minutes and then turn off the stove. I want the aqua flour also to have that yogurt taste. It's ready to be eaten. I wish you are with us to try it. But you can try it at home and let me know what you think.
our mince meat is ready. I already cooked the rice. You can find the recipe of how to make the rice on stitchingcuisines.com. And one of the best part is plating the mince. First, we'll cut the tanuri bread into small pieces. Make sure that you cover the pan with the tanur bread and now we'll, we'll soak the bread with the yogurt. Don't leave any dry spot. Start with the edges, then the middle. Smells so good, looks so good, and I'm sure it tastes so good. I did all the edges, now I'm going to soak in the middle. It's very important to soak the bread very well. I'm making sure that the bread is being soaked with the yogurt before I add the rice. Now I'm going to add the rice on the top of the bread and yogurt. It's still hot. I will use the fork now to separate the rice. It's hot, it's hot. And again I'm going to Cover the bread with the rice. Don't leave any empty spot. After I covered the bread with the rice, now I'm going to put finally step the meat and the cauliflower. It's so hot. Be careful. The meat and the chicken. As I mentioned before, the minsef is made traditionally with lamb meat, but I made the chicken and chicken breast, especially because my daughter don't eat lamb meat and they don't like any part of the chicken except the chicken breast and my mother taught me to add the cauliflower and I found out it's so good when I add the cauliflower with that it smells so good I'm so hungry now yeah I'm going now to add yogurt soak over the rice and the meat and I'm going to leave some on the side for anyone who likes to add more yogurt. Final touch, add the pine nuts and almonds. Yummy, yummy, my tummy. I love nuts and my kids also love almonds and pine nuts. So I always make more. Habib Tinura, this is specially made for you today. I want you to try it and let me know how it turns out. Oh my God, smells good. Can I taste? No, don't touch on it. Yeah. We have to all like eat spoon, together. Like spoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Means wow. of your favorite meal, looks, yeah? Yeah, looks delicious. And it tastes more delicious, trust me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love this recipe. Subscribe, share and comment. Have a nice day.